it uh, keeps me moving. I usually do about <clears throat> four to six miles before the COPD class. It just keeps me mobile. My name is Darko Tessek and uh, I really like the uh, care that Donna shows to everybody and uh, there's a close bottom-up support. It's very supportive and caring and it's uh, just a privilege to be part of the group. It's a fun class. We're learning lots. Our posture is increasing. When I started, I could only do five laps and now I can do 30. And I'm Donna and I enjoy everybody's camaraderie and I enjoy the walking. And I also enjoy the exercises too, to keep the good lungs that I do have. And it's interesting to know what other things you can do to keep fit and free of problems. All in all, it's, a, it's an exceptionally good program. It's well put on, well monitored. Donna's exceptionally good at what she does. I just enjoy coming out and being with the other people. Well, I enjoy the fact that I can breathe a lot better. Uh, I would walk and get out of breath. Uh, when I first started, I didn't walk that many laps, but now I try and get in at least two miles. The exercise part, as John said, I enjoy because Donna teaches us when we do them when to breathe in and when to breathe out. My name is John Hubbard. Yeah, it's exercises I enjoy the most. If I didn't do the exercise here, I'd get stiffened up and have problems even walking. So. My name is Dominic. I think I enjoy the people being with me a lot. And they, they push you a little bit. I've been here, what, two years or so? I've been on oxygen for about three years. It's been getting worse. I'm not getting as, I'm not getting bad as my name is Donna and I teach the Fitness for Breath program in Bradford. Our class, we try to make it a lot of fun. Obviously we target all the muscle groups. We do a lot of, I bring in a lot of balance work into it. We focus on stretching and breathing. People that are suffering with, with a disease that they may not get better from it but they can um, extend their wellness and be able to be active. We did have four people on oxygen. One of them has been taken off oxygen now, so he did make improvements. Before Christmas, one of the fellows told me that his respirologist told me that told him that his oxygen levels, the percentages were higher. One woman, when I first met her, she could barely go around one time. She is up to 28 laps. It's much more than just coming to a place where they can do some exercises and try and keep themselves active rather than suffering or feeling alone at home. 